Namaste and good morning to you all. Uh, how are you, student? And how is your study is going on? I hope, I guess, your study is uh, going well in spite of this difficult and uh, difficult situation. Uh, first of all, I want to welcome you all uh, in this virtual class designed by Join School family. This class is specially designed uh, for the student of class 9 and, uh, 9 and 10. I'm your English teacher and I'm going to uh, teach you English uh, in, this, in this class. Let's start our class. It is the continuation of the uh, previous topic, that is reading comprehension. In the previous video, in the day five uh, video, we discussed uh, the activities that the students have to do before solving, uh, before reading, or before dealing the uh, comprehension passes. Isn't it, student? Today we are going to learn the strategies that the student have to follow uh, while reading, while solving, or while dealing the uh, comprehensive uh, passes. The first strategy is read the question first. Read the question first is the uh, first strategy, first plan, or first um, policy, first uh, tactics you have to follow. Always go through the question first and then passes. If you read the question first, you'll prepare, it will prepare you to focus uh, on the things uh, you need to look in the, in the passes. If you read the question first, you'll get information. Right? You'll get information. So read the question two or three times to get information from the, uh, uh, from the uh, question. Underline the keywords in the, in the questions. When you read the question, underline the keywords. There are keywords in the question. With the help of the keywords, you have to find out the answer in the, in the passes. Let's see the example. Uh, this is a small paragraph, and below the paragraph, I have written one, one question here. The question is, what was Louis Pasteur famous for? In this question, the, there are two keywords. Louis Pasteur, one keyword, and famous for another, uh, another keywords. In this way, you have to underline the keywords. Right? when you read the question questions. Right? Now, second strategy. Second strategy is read the passage. After reading the question, start reading the passage. Look for the keyword while you are reading the passage with reference to the questions. Look for the keywords. While you are reading the passage with reference to the question. With reference to the question means with uh, relation to the question. We have underlined the uh, keywords in the, uh, in the questions. And uh, while you are reading the passage with reference uh, to the, or look for the words while you are uh, reading the passage with reference with relation uh, with relation to the uh, to the questions while reading the passage whenever wherever you come across the keyword stop there and underline or locate answer with refer the questions with direct the question with point 
the question is well reading the passage whenever wherever you come across the keywords stop there and underline locate the answer with refer the question with direct the question with point the question make a keyword table look keyword table when you do practice test at home not in exam while reading the passages you have to make a keyword table <clears throat> the keyword table you have to make during your practice at home not in exam let's see how you can make a keyword table this is a keyword table in the first column keyword in the question and in the uh, second column similar words similar keywords in the in the passages we have already underlined the keywords in the question the keywords in the questions are which passer and another keyword is a famous for and while reading the passages you have to find out the similar keywords similar keywords in the passages the similar keywords in the passages passages are he yeah he means luis passer here is also luis passer and here is also luis passer another famous for is the keywords in the question and similar keywords in the passages is best known to the public general public for and this one you will find in this in this sentence read this sentence he is best known to the uh, general public for inventing a method to stop milk and the wine from causing sickness these two keywords you will find in this sentence okay here he means he means luis passer the luis passer the keyword is in passes as well as it is in the question mark okay? and second keyword is second keyword is best known to the general public for best known to the general public for and famous for the similar similar meaning is best known to the general public is same okay? in this way you have to make uh, make a keyword table while practicing at home you should not make a keyword table uh, while you are uh, appearing in the exam you have to make the keyword table in your uh, mind during the exam generally the question appear in a chronological order this means the answer of the first question will appear at the beginning of the passage while the answer of the subsequent question will appear in the later portion of the of the passage this is this is chronological order the question appears okay? usually question appear in the chronological order like okay? it means this means the answer of the first question will appear in the Uh, beginning part of the uh, passes and other question question number 2 3 4 5 up here in the later uh, portion of the passes in a uh, serial yak this is a chronological chronological order now the third strategy third um, things third activities you have to do while uh, while reading the passages is answer the question in your own words answer the question in your own words using the keywords from the 
question and keywords from the from the passage you should not copy the same sentence in your answer if you copy the same sentence in your answer then answer will not correct answer in a full sentence okay? answer in a full sentence say example what was louis pasteur famous for um, uh, you have to use the keywords from the question louis pasteur was famous for for inventing a method to stop milk and wine from causing sickness this is the uh, complete answer and this is the full sentence answer and this answer the written uh, in uh, in our own words you should not copy the same sentence from the passage this is the third strategy you have to uh, you have to um, follow while solving the question answer now fourth fourth strategy is the answer should be written in the uh, same tense the answer should be written in the same tense it means uh, the answer should be written in the same tense in which the question has been asked irrespective uh, of the tense in the passage if the question if the question is asked in present tense you have to write down the answer in present tense if the answer if the question is in past tense write the answer in the past tense if the question is in future tense write the answer in future tense let's see the question again what was louis pasteur famous for this answer is written in a pa past tense okay? so you have to write down the answer in past tense but the uh, the sentence where uh, where there is the answer is written in present passive form it is written in the uh, present uh, present passive form okay? so if you copy the same sentence uh, from the passage the your tense will not match there as a result the answer is incorrect so an answer should be written <coughs> uh, in the uh, same uh, sentence that is if the uh, question is in past write in past tense if it is in present write in present if it is in future write answer in future tense this is the fourth strategy now the fifth strategy is select the title from the main idea main events or main main characters sometimes you are asked to write a title of the of the passage in such a, a condition you have to select select the title from the main idea of the passage or from the main event event of the passage or main character of the passage if you see this passage if you are asked to write the title of this passage you can write the uh, title uh, title from the main character of this passage the main character of this passage is which passer in this way with the main idea from the main idea and main events and main character write the title this is the fifth strategy now sixth is avoid mistakes avoid mistakes avoid spelling mistakes don't make any mistake in spelling avoid grammar mistake write the uh, answer write the sentence in a correct grammar okay. you have to use the correct pun punctuation marks avoid uh, punctuation mistakes okay. it means you have to write the correct uh, punctuation mark full stop question mark exclamation mark comma semi comma all these are the sign of punctuation and you have to use the uh, 
punctuation, punctuation mark in a correct place. And you have to write down the correct uh, sentence structure. You have to write down the correct word order. In my previous video, I have discussed about the correct word order. I have discussed about the correct writing, correct uh, sentence structure. If you watch uh, the video, previous video, you will be clear how to write a correct word order, how to write a correct uh, sentence structures. So this is the sixth strategy. Now, the seventh strategy is <coughs> get the gist of the uh, gist of the paragraphs. Read the first and the last uh, sentence of the paragraphs and take a look at the middle middle of the paragraphs. If you do this, you'll get the gist of the paragraph. You'll get the main idea of the paragraphs. And this happens when you practice a lot. If you practice a lot, like you can, you can find out the main idea of the paragraphs after reading the first and last uh, sentence of the paragraphs in multi-paragraph passes. If the passes, uh, if the passes uh, has multi-paragraphs many paragraphs you can find out the gist of the paragraph by reading the first and the last uh, sentence of the paragraphs and giving a quick look at the middle of the paragraphs as i have told you already, already that yeah you'll get uh, such idea only after practicing a lot Now next, next strategy, next activity you have to do is answer of the indirect question and implied questions. Okay? Indirect questions or uh, implied uh, idea question means uh, something, something that was hinted at or suggested uh, but not directly uh, mentioned. Some answer of some questions are not directly mentioned in the in the passage. If you see the answer of this question, it is directly mentioned in the in the passage, and it is easy for you to write the answer. There are some questions questions which are uh, which you call uh, indirect questions or implied question. It means uh, it express indirectly. Okay? There is not a direct answer. Right? There is not a direct answer. You will not, uh, you will not find, uh, uh, you will not find the answer. <coughs> uh, answer in the passage. You have to find the answer uh, on the basis of the fact, on the basis of the concept idea, on the basis of your reasoning power. On the basis of fact, on the basis of concept or idea, on the basis of your reasoning power, you have to find out the answer of the indirect questions or implied idea questions. Let's see this from this, uh, from the part of a paragraph. This is a part of a paragraph. And let me read the uh, part of uh, a paragraph. In summer, a mother uh, uh, polar bear came out from a dark den with three-month-old cub. This is the small portion of a paragraph. And the two questions are there and below the uh, paragraph. The first question is, when did the mother polar bear give birth? Is the first question. Uh, if you underline the um, keywords, mother polar bear, uh, give birth, these are the uh, keywords. 
you have to underline it. Only you will find the uh, mother polar bear. A mother polar bear in the in the passage. But there is uh, there is no similar keywords in the passage. Give birth. Give birth is another keyword and similar keywords you don't find in the in the passes. So you have to write the answer of this question using your uh, idea, reasoning power. Okay. Another question is in which season did the uh, did the bear give birth? There is also no answer of this question in the passage. Okay? There is not a direct answer okay, of this passage. You have to write down the answer of the question of this passage using your idea, your reasoning, reasoning, reasoning power. Okay? In which season did the uh, bear give birth? There means on the summer season, okay? Summer season, but the uh, bear did not give the birth in summer season, okay? Before summer, which seasons seasons is there? Winter. After winter, summer. Before summer, winter. Because uh, the cow, cow is three months old. The cow is three months old. It means it means the polar bear, polar bear uh, gave birth three months earlier. That means in the winter seasons. In this way, you have to find out the answer using an idea, reasoning, reasoning power up. If there are indirect questions or implied idea uh, questions. Okay. Now, other strategy is the question related to a title, theme, a central idea, purpose can be found from the last three to uh, four lines of the passage. If you are asked, if you are asked to write a title or theme of the pa passage, a central idea, central idea of the passage, main purpose of the passage, you have to find out the answer from the last uh, three to four lines of the of the uh, um, paragraphs. Always solve the another strategy. Always solve the easy question first and difficult question later on. Don't stick on the difficult questions. It will lose your time. Okay? It is a waste of time. If you stick on the difficult questions, it is a waste of time. So you have to solve the easy question first and difficult question later on. If you follow this strategy, okay, strategy, you can easily solve the questions. Okay? You can easily write down the write down the uh, questions answer correctly. Okay? Now the third part of reading comprehension is what you have to do after completing the question answer. Okay? One thing you have to do after completing the answer of the uh, uh, questions, okay, that is always cross-check the answer with the questions and the passage itself. You have to cross-check. You have to read the answer of the questions. Read the questions and read the answer passage and cross-check it. This is the uh, strategy you have to follow after reading comprehensive passages. In this way, okay, in this way, uh, you can solve, you can deal, uh, deal reading comprehension. Okay? I hope you understood it very well. Others will discuss in our next class. This much for today. Rest in the next class. Okay? Thank you all.